Hello there. Welcome to Possibility Time with Dr. Helen Orisha Jaffa. I am extremely excited about today because what we're going to be looking at is extremely important. It's something that will change your horizon. Literally, you will begin to experience speed in your life. And the topic is the power of consistency. Consistency is about being regular and steady. When you are consistent, you are resolutely and dutifully firm and unwavering. You have a recognizable order and regulatory to behavior. This is true of everything in life, from your work life, to home life, to spiritual life, to social life as well. Consistency is it's in you being determined to be self-reliance, self-discipline. It also teaches you self-control. It improves your overall personality, builds your momentum, and it gives you a sense of accountability and direction that translates to progress. Mm -hmm. Progress! Because in life, life is about continuum. It's a continuum, as a matter of fact. When you are consistent, you do not let life's disappointment derail you. Rather, you just keep going. Hmm. There will be time when you will get to a crossroad and the question becomes, will you let the obstacle drag you down or use it to propel you forward? You have to put in consistency in order to see the desired result. It is what gives you the strength to keep going through tough times and makes you focus on your progress. At that point, you see mistakes as learning opportunities and with under that overcoming failure is what allows you to unlock your potentials. Therefore, how do we become consistent? Number one, create specific and realistic goals. It is important for you to go into your drawing board and come up with specific goals, things that you intend to achieve this month, this year, or five years coming so that at the end of the day, you'll be more focused and you can achieve the determined goals. Number two, set boundaries for commitment. There will always be distractions. A lot of things will happen. It could be the time that someone will call you and spend two hours with you over the phone just to wear you down, whereas you have some things that are important that you need to do. So set boundaries, set boundaries. Build your will power never give up in life life will throw many things at you but in it you have to stand sure knowing fairly well that nothing stops you in life except you number four take responsibility for your actions i get really tired when mistakes come because we're a human being and then we prefer to shift it on somebody else or we're trying to say you know, to dodge it in a way. Mm -mm. Take responsibility. If by any means you're late to a particular set meeting, be ready to apologize and make little changes so that it does not repeat itself tomorrow. It only shows that you are a responsible person. Eliminate negative thinking. You know, a positive-minded person can achieve anything in life. No matter what is going on, remain positive. It can still happen. Can I hear you say that? It can still happen. And it will. It will. God willing. Make promises you can keep. Okay? It is always better to under-promise and over-perform. Let it be that you wouldn't say you are going to get there today at 1. And yet you, get, you are right there at 6 p.m. in the evening. That is overstretching it. It's not needed when you want to achieve your common goals in life. Now, keep going if you make a mistake, okay? That's it. It's very important. You might have made a mistake, but that mistake must not define you as an individual. It is a mistake. It is not a lifetime thing. Don't make it a lifetime thing, okay? You know, check yourself. Find out what that mistake might be. Learn from it and move forward. Hmm. The next one, take time out to recharge. There are times we need a little bit of break, okay? Especially when you are suffering from overload. You need to take out time and just, you know, rewind. Get together with your friends. 
do something outside of what you've been doing before so that that can create a little bit of synergy and energy and a booster as well that is very much needed for you to be consistent in life. The last thing is reward yourself when you get something done. I always say this, learn how to reward yourself. Learn how to be happy. Learn how to celebrate yourself. If no one celebrates you, celebrate yourself. You deserve it, people. Yes, 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 you deserve it. At least if there's anything at all, you have been able to achieve something today, okay? Making it a priority to achieve something is very, very important. And then celebrate it at the end of the day. Always remember that success does not come from what you do occasionally, but what you do consistently. It's very important. And do not forget that the key to consistency is setting and achieving goals. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the sweet, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance are to them all. The key word here is time and chance. When you put chance and time together, it equals to you accomplish, accomplishing your tax and goals in life. Why? Because you have been able to use the opportunity presented to advance your life. Simply put, you have been consistent. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I can only say to you that never allow your environment wear you down or whatever that is happening within or outside. At the end of the day, God has got your back. Be consistent and achieve that goal. It's not too late for you. God bless you.